Welcome back to another episode of Crave TV. I'm your host, Chandler Baird. Today we are in beautiful, sunny Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, right on the water. Adam invited me to join him at a brand new restaurant called Terraza, but when he called, he said he might need a little bit of help and that it was urgent. Chandler, Chandler, oh my I'm, gosh, I'm right here. Adam, right you're here. so small, what happened? I was working with some strange ingredients and I just was testing them out to see what happened and this is what happened and can you help me out? Okay, I guess I'll help you this time. It's a tiny Adam. Hi, I'm Adam Hegstead, chef and restaurateur in the, in the Northwest. I'm all about the people because that's what hospitality is built on. Hi, I'm Chandler Baird, local foodie and lifestyle influencer at Spokane Eats. I'm all about highlighting our local eateries and the communities that support them. Crave TV is a telling of stories through visiting the places and restaurants, meeting the people who make it happen, and talking to the chefs who help create this amazing industry. This is Crave TV. So have you been here before? No, I have not. Have you? No, because it's brand new, right? Like a month or yeah. something? I'm yeah. I'm excited to try it out. Hey, Adam. Hey, hey Chandler. Hi. Hey, Yorn. Nice Thanks to for meet having you. us. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Nice to meet you as well. What are we cooking today? We're cooking some tequila clams. Oh, right up our alley. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Come on in. <laughs> well, welcome to Terraza, guys. Terraza, if you know, means terrace in Spanish. So we try to highlight our beautiful terrace that's on the Spokane River and let that flow into our decor, our plants, keep it nice and fresh and highlight a lot of earth tones that makes you think you're in Latin America. Yeah. yeah, it's gorgeous. You definitely get tropical vibes. Yeah, it's definitely open and uh -huh. like you feel that for yeah. sure. So let's hear about your uh, cocktail program. You got some great tequilas up there. We have actually 80 different tequilas okay. and quite a few mezcals as well. From my, the best guess, and I'm not 100% on this, but okay. I believe we have the largest selection of really? tequila in North Idaho. Really? Wow. Um, there's some uh, specialty stuff up there. Yeah. There is some, some really cool bottles stuff in there. Like, for example, the bottle that looks like little skull guy. Yeah. yeah. You can't get that anymore. That's crazy. Yeah, well, this is beautiful bar, beautiful setting. Very yeah. impressive. Oh, well, and you can see the guys back here cooking. Yeah. And yeah. Do you guys make your own tortillas? We make our own flour. We buy okay. our corn tortillas from De Leon. And then over here, we have a beautiful wine wall and produce wall, which nothing on this wall is fake. We come out and use it regularly. Oh, I thought yes. it was decoration. Nope. These are. <laughs> Real oranges, They're real, yep. real chayote squash. The chocolate boxes are empty because we keep the rest of that in the back. <laughs> All right, so should we go cook some food up? Let's go. All right. Okay, while you guys do that, I'm gonna do my thing, go enjoy some sun, and then I'll just eat it. Does that sound All good? All right, sounds we'll good. Fun. Let's okay. do it. Have fun. Well, welcome to my kitchen. It's a nice, cozy spot. Oh. Gorgeous view outside. Beautiful view outside, and nice. brand new kitchen, which some few people get <laughs> It's pretty shiny to. in here, pretty oh, yeah. shiny. We try to keep it shiny as best we can. Yeah, it looks great. All right, well, what, what so are we cooking? Today, we're gonna do our uh, beloved tequila clams. Okay. People love clams, so we yeah. took a lot of the flavors that we work with and made a very approachable appetizer. Okay. Starting right. with the Argentinian-style chorizo that we get made by Mountain View Meats. Oh, yeah. It's okay. absolutely delicious. Uh, we have a ginger-garlic mixture, equal right. parts. Pickled Fresnos, fresh cilantro, fresh limes, marjoram, clam juice, and our clams. Most restaurants use black pepper for everything. We use pink pepper. Oh, nice. I okay. just love the aromatic and the citrusy yeah. flavor to yeah. it more than black pepper. It highlights our food. All right, let's do it. But Cook it up. A little bit of oil to the pan and add our chorizo. And what's the spice in the chorizo? The chorizo spice is yeah. paprika, oregano, garlic. That's most of it. Okay. It's mostly beef, a little bit of pork fat to keep that nice and juiciness. Yeah, yeah. Next I up, a little to, garlic uh, and ginger. A little garlic ginger mix. I like the fusion there, oh. adding a little freshness. There's a lot of ginger used in a lot of South American dishes, so I like that. Bite, yeah, it that builds citrus. the freshness. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's and nice. layering flavor. Yeah. Some fresh marjoram. Okay. So then I'll add our clams. All right. We use a pound and a half of clams per dish. All right, that's a lot. I'm gonna get a lot. Share yeah, yeah. It nice and enjoy it. I like it. Our rail tequila is our stock tequila is El Himidor. Okay. So you chose the good. reposada. Yep. More flavor than blanco. I think that goes well with the chorizo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Some fresh lime. A couple limes. 
kind of break up any of that richness and the fat. And we go through a lot of limes here. Yeah. A lot, a lot of limes. Yeah, you just put two whole limes in there. That makes yep. it, I mean, that's a great dish right there. And then some of our clam broth. All right. A little kosher salt. I think, I think this is like, as a, you're building a complexity there. I mean, mm -hmm. like the flavor is going to be bright and you have like a lot of, you know, like richness and lean Rich. and like all those things kind of balancing those things out. I think that's, that looks great. We'll cover that. Let that steam for a little while. Toss a little cilantro in here just for some bright and freshness at the okay. end. Oh, that smells really good. Oh. It smells amazing. You need the smell of vision here. Right. It smells so good. A little beautiful toast. The liquids half the enjoyment of this dish. Yeah, for sure. A few of our pickled Fresnos. Just did some bright highlights to the whole thing. A little acidity at the end there. Yep. Yeah, that's balance. fantastic. One of the things that I love about all food is creating a balance. Yeah, that's gorgeous. All right, I'm going to dig into this. Go for it. Oh, man, that's so good. Chandler's going to love this. We've got to bring some out to her. Let's do it. All right. Hello, guys. How'd it go in the kitchen? Wonderful. We cooked you some treats. And we brought oh, you my some gosh, it went very well, I can see. So, time to eat? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get right to it. So we're here at Rogers, a Coeur d'Alene institution. Mm -hmm. On Sherman Ave, where oh, the Sherman magic Ave. happens. I <laughs> still love walking down here and like getting some like burgers and fries and stuff. And I think we should do that. Absolutely. Haven't eaten all day. Hey, Mark. Hey, how's it going, Adam? Good. How are you doing? Hi. Hi, Chandler. Nice to meet you. Mark, nice to meet you. We're here to get some uh, shakes and fries. That sounds good to me. All right, let's Heard do it. Heard some good things, so let's see. Oh, here it is. Oh my goodness. Take a look Word at that. Shake. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm excited That's about this. That's what we wanted. So, how are things? How's business going? Things are good, busy, real yeah. busy. Yeah, we've been, we've been having a fantastic year so far over here in Idaho, and now it's summertime. The craziest time of year. How are you guys doing with uh, staffing and business and Whatever we got Iron Man this weekend, so business is incredible. Yeah. Staffing's been a challenge, but yeah. you know, luckily we're you know we're making it happen, and you know we're keeping moving forward. So that's what's important. Yeah, yeah. staying so, positive, staying busy. Right. Yeah, and how has like been the growth? I mean, I've seen you guys expanding, and growth has been, been great. Going? Yeah, growth's been great. You know, we just opened up our newest location, uh, Rogers Burgers on Government Way. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, this area is changing dramatically. It's, uh, we all expected it, but. It's, Didn't know it was this last like year that. has been like, whoa! <laughs> yeah. Like, well, let everyone know. Yeah. Even the prairie, I mean, I, I heard there's going to be another 5,000 homes up there, 20,000 people. That's a lot of people moving in. So that's that's definitely a change. And I think that, you know, you being here, like having this great classic location and then being able to expand your other brand, uh, Rogers Burgers, and I think that's a great opportunity for you. Yeah, this place is yeah. amazing. It's just, it's like a throwback in American history. Oh, you know? I love it. it. Yeah, I love that It's really fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> tell me about your beef program. I saw something about it. Yeah, we do a country natural beef program, which is a uh, co-op of ranchers out of, it's a co-op of uh, basically rural farm ranchers and farmers, and basically they do it all the right way as far as they don't use growth hormones or weight additives or, um, you know anything that's going to you know induce they don't use antibiotics in the cows so all those things that you know people are becoming more and more aware of and caring more about because of health reasons they don't do it you know they really do a program where they really watch the grazing of the natural lands they graze the cattle on um, and again most importantly these are just small time ran small ranchers who have bonded together which is really unique and i really like it because just because of the values you know their values really align with our values as a company well and i think that that shows a difference in the quality of, of the products that you're, you're serving and like I think people respect that and they want to see that and you, you taste it. Absolutely. And that's and that's and the way I look at it is, you know, it, I don't want to serve something that I wouldn't personally eat. Yeah. I have to want to eat it myself. I'd have to want to serve it to my children. Otherwise, I just won't do it. It's just not worth it to me. What's, uh, like, what's the history of Rogers? Well, Rogers originally 
uh, started as an ice cream parlor in Moscow, Idaho in 1940. And it was down there for many, many years up until about the 80s. And in the 80s, it moved up to Coeur d'Alene as an ice cream parlor. And it was down on 4th and Sherman where the um, bank exchange building, now Vault Coffee oh, yeah. Place is. And it was down there for several years. And then in the early 90s, it relocated to this location. And that's when they started doing burgers at that point. Um, that's why it's called Rogers Ice Cream and Burgers. Gotcha. Um, when I bought it, I thought it would be very important to kind of keep the original um, name Aesthetic, and all that yeah. stuff because it has so much look, history. Like it right. has like a, yeah. uh, it has I mean, I love history. like that historical mm -hmm. sort of vibe to it, the 1950s kind of yeah. burger hop sort of you feeling. You kind of yeah. look at the building and you know exactly what it's going to yeah, be. Yeah, you're like, I I'm going to go get yeah. burgers there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah I look for, like when I go to small towns, I'm like, I'm looking, I'm looking for that kind of place. Oh, yeah. for sure. This kind of place. Yeah. Well, and this location is perfect because it's a little bit away from like the main Coeur d'Alene area to yeah. where you can usually find some parking. It's not as busy. Yeah. So it's perfect for people yeah, I, I, Like I said, it's like great when I live downtown. It's like just walk over here, yeah. you know, grab a burger and just hang out. So it's, it's nice. For it's, sure. Definitely a neighborhood go-to place. You know, at evening time you have all the families riding their bikes over here after dinner, and Love it. it's the best yeah. restaurant ever. You have all the beachgoers who are down at, at the beach, uh, you know, coming up here to get burgers after they're done swimming and yeah. milkshakes. So it gets pretty crazy four o'clock on. It's, it's it's pretty fun. What's the most? Uh, who's the most famous person you've ever had come over here? Ooh. Lane people are always coming. You know, I, I you know. <laughs> Out of these Wait, these what days. About, yeah, what about us? Oh, oh, oh you guys, absolutely. <laughs> we can sign autographs. Later. Yeah, yeah. You can maybe form a line. <laughs> Gosh, well, it was so nice being here. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank Anything you so much. Anything we missed? No, I, wanna... I, love, I love that you guys are down here and have kind of kept original to that and been, been yeah. able to, like, keep true to the things that you're doing. And, Keep doing it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. We appreciate it. And we love doing we it. Do. Keep yeah. expanding. Maybe come over to Spokane or. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Join us. We'll cheers with our milkshakes. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're doing water. Cheers. All right. Thank you so much. You so Join much. us after the commercial for more Crave TV. Thank you. So, I'm going to make whipped cream. If you're not lucky enough to have a rubberized bottom, you can lay out a towel kind of wrap it around and that will help stabilize your bowl a little bit so it doesn't wobble. I have my fresh whipping cream. Okay. And then I have powdered sugar. So um, you can use like regular sugar, but it, sometimes it'll leave like a little bit of granules in the whipped cream. Mm -hmm. And so this, ha and this has a little bit of starch, so it'll create a stabilizer somewhat so that the whipped cream stays uh, a little bit foamier for longer. You wanna make sure that you have a floppy whisk instead of like a hard whisk. You wanna oh. make sure that it's like nice and bendy because you're whisk whisking it up and you wanna get the air in there. Okay. So I'm just slightly tilting it. I'm using the curvature of the bowl to add aeration to the cream. So you just went back and forth. Just go back and forth. That's pretty impressive. You're like almost there. Yeah. And like the cold that your cream is, that helps too. Okay. But look how quick that is. Oh, perfect. Now we have fresh whipped cream to yeah. eat. Nice and easy. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> We're here at Emerge with my wife Jenny. Hello. <laughs> Let's go see Thanks some more. Thanks for having us. It's beautiful in here. Yeah, thank you. Um, this is our new space. We just opened two months ago and um, relocated here after our fire of 2020. So we spent the last nine months renovating this space and we're so thrilled with how it turned out and it's just a beautiful, gorgeous space. Uh, we ended up discovering that it had all this gorgeous woodwork um, and historic beams all logged out of uh, Farragut State Park. So um, after we ripped down a pretty ugly drop ceiling, uh, this was revealed and just hiding up there. And so that was uh, a really great surprise. Awesome, so what do you guys do here? So Emerge is a community uh, nonprofit arts program that is focused on uplifting aspiring artists in the community. And we're, uh, we act as a support system offering training in professional practice, art practices and also giving an exhibit space to artists locally and regionally. And then we also, in our downstairs, we have classroom programming, so. Well, and tell us a little bit about, like, this show in particular. 
Yeah, so this month's show is um, Somewhere Rainbow, as you see on the door there. Um, the art is all created uh, by Casey Doyle and Tiffany Patterson, who are from this area. And Casey is the ceramics professor down at U of I in Moscow, and Tiffany is a graphic designer and illustrator artist out of Spokane. So they work together on each piece of this show. This show is so calming and soothing, and um, just the, the rain installation here is so fun. Uh, Casey created, all those raindrops are made from oh, ceramic. Yeah. Um, oh, cool. the, the clouds here, and then of course, like these larger clouds, little ones are Casey creates the mold and then hand pours those. Um, and then of course, Tiffany did um, the artwork that you see on them. Yeah. Go check out the retail. Okay. These pieces I was looking at are so cool. I've never seen a mug with like the yeah, double so cool. finger. Yeah. yeah. That is really well, like, fun. I like this. Like. Oh. Yeah, this is the to... touch wall. So any of these okay. pieces you can touch. Oh, and this okay. is kind of like one of Casey's like <laughs> signatures is the um little, like the stick. clouds that yeah. shake and then make that kind of rain sound. Yeah. And everything so... in here is for sale? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um the red dots uh, uh, mean that those pieces are already sold, but okay. there's uh, several pieces still available. So. Cool, okay. So this is a cool spot. A yeah, this is something pieces. we didn't have at all in our previous space, and we always had wanted to add because a lot of the artists in the gallery, um, they also create functional wares as well. And um, so this is, yeah, this is chock full of bath and beauty products, mm -hmm. jewelry, cards. Uh, yeah, these cards are amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that's really yeah. Cool. Kimber oh, wow. Falavog in Spokane makes oh these, embroiders these, and then those are her pieces up there too. Yeah, it's so fun and it's just uh, attracted a lot of people here during the during the day and no, yeah, really these cool. are- These cups are really cool. Yeah, yeah. these are so fun. They're, Get yeah, so that was from our May show, was a collaboration with artist Maya Rumsey who does the pottery, and then Ronaldo Zambrano did all of the artwork on those pieces. Oh yeah, he did a he did our mural at Baba too. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. Okay. yeah. So it's been interesting to see how the arts has really helped the culture and like the you know the community thrive as far as you know people want to move here because of the things that are happening. And so, how it's been your experience and the way that the arts have grown and how those have been incorporated into our community. Yeah. Well, I think that there's just kind of been a national trend towards buying local and yeah. buying small and um, and that's drawn people's attention to emerge a lot more than um, when we first opened and so uh, so that's really helping us and I we talk to tourists now all the time because we get a lot more foot traffic yeah. mm -hmm. at this location and they want to take a piece of Coeur d'Alene home with yeah, them. Absolutely. And so, you know, stopping in and, and selecting something either from the gallery or from the retail space, uh, they get really excited about that. Oh, this is, I'm always going to remember I got this in Coeur d'Alene. Totally. So. So if people want to sign up for classes, how does that work? Yeah, so if they want to sign up for classes, they just go to our website, which is emergecda.com, and um, go to the classes tab, and all the 
instructions are right there on, in the full class list. And so we always are offering pottery and print making, photography, painting classes. And then we have some other, you know, fun ones uh, sprinkled in there as okay. well. Yeah. Well, Sim, thank you so much for showing us around. Yeah. Do you guys want to see the classroom? Yeah, let's see yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Happening. Yes, so this is our classroom space down here, and this is Olivia, one of our pottery instructors, <laughs> is throwing. And um, but yeah, we have a full pottery program, and then um, a dark room over there, tucked in over there, and we do a lot of printmaking and painting and other activities down here as well. So we have. Cool. Classes. Great space in the summer. It feels amazing down here. Oh, yeah. I yeah. know. Yeah. Cool. It's really yeah. nice down here. What did this used to be? This used to be a custom framing shop. Oh. So, so the, they already had the dark room? No. Oh, they didn't? No. We installed the dark, dark room and um, there weren't walls down here. Uh, there wasn't, we had to put in plumbing and mm -hmm. new lighting and things like that. But they pretty much just used this as storage yeah. and um, kind of a workspace, but most of it was upstairs. So that's... Thanks for showing that's us around. Emerge. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. We learned so much. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks so much for having us. Yes. This is a really cool space. I can't wait to take a pottery class, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe next episode. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to join us next week for another episode of Crave TV on Fox 28.